one of the things I noticed when I animated this little rig was that it's kind of tiresome to if you wanted to bounce the cube up in the air and spin it around you have to compensate for the fact that your control is pivoting at the base of the cube as opposed to in the center so if the cube wanted to do like a 360 spin before it came back down it would look really wonky swinging around the base so the way you alleviate that is you add another controller <clears throat> you put a controller with a pivot right in the center of the cube uh, I'll show you how to add that you basically just create a new curve NURBS uh, circle and then we're gonna lift it right to the center so I'm gonna hold down the V key and with the middle mouse button I'm gonna drag you'll see it snaps to points on the cube but it also wants to snap to handles so one of the cluster handles is right in the center of the cube so if I snap to that we get it right in the center where we want and then I can go to modify freeze transformations to make sure it's zeroed out and then delete by type history to make sure there's no construction history going into the curve and now that curve is exactly where we want it we just have to name it so I'm going to call it mid underscore ctrl for control and then we want it to be a child of this offset at the bottom so that it follows and the way we do that is we select the control itself and then we select what we want it to be parented to and we hit the P key and it jumps in there and now when I select that offset and move it it moves the mid controller as well and if I select the mid controller and rotate it we get nothing because we haven't connected the constraints properly yet so to do that we sort of have to redirect the constraints that are already attached to the offset or we could also just be lazy and delete those and that's what I'm gonna do uh, if I go into the mesh group go under the cube itself because that's what has the constraints on it I can just select these two constraints and hit delete now what we want to do is just constrain to this mid controller so we select what we want to constrain to first that's the mid controller then we select the cube and if we go to constrain create parent and then constrain create scale now suddenly we're back in business and our cube will obey this mid controller as you can see though I can pull it away from those clusters and that's not exactly how we want things to work but that's easy to fix all we do is select the cluster group which is right here and if I middle mouse button drag underneath the mid controller now those are redirected to follow the mid controller and everything is well we can do all the stuff that we'd hoped we'd be able to do um, and that's it I will save this and call it done